Hey guys, what's up? It's Eiflin here and welcome to my radio blind build video for Excalibur. This video, realistically, it's just showing you guys another way to play Excalibur rather than just using Exalted Blade over and over and over again. Uh, this is the type of build that I'd be using on Excalibur and let's say a Law of Retribution if I happen to bring Excalibur in there. I know he's not sort of the ideal frame for a raid or a law of retribution but let's say you're a lower level player you don't really have access to too many frames and you still want to do your raid with your friends this would be the type of build that i would be running on him even though in those raids you're not really meant to be killing anything it's more just so you're you're stunning things so i can show you guys a few variations with this build but this is sort of my one shot very high level mobs type build with uh excalibur so Let's go ahead and take a look. It's a very simplistic build to follow. So if we just take a look at Overextended, Stretch, and Cunning Drift, these three mods will give you the maximum amount of range that you can get on any given frame. Prime Continuity on there for the duration, uh, so they stay stunned for a lot longer. Prime Flow, because, you know, Prime Flow is pretty good. You can obviously take this here off if you have, like, something like an EV Train and put on a Max Rank Streamline. Uh, I don't want to form this too much anymore because, you know, it would kind of just mess up my polarities and stuff. Like, you can do a few things. You can swap it around. So let's say we take that off. We throw this on here. Um, you could throw on something different, maybe a rank 1 constitution for more duration or something. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this builder. Maybe even just throw on, like, uh, a, a regular flow, right? So if we go ahead and we get the regular version of flow right here, and then we throw on a max rank streamline, that would also be, you know, an ideal uh, thing to do, you know? So that's pretty cool there. That way you get the max benefit from your streamline, but you just have less energy capacity, which isn't really a problem with this build anyway. Um... So there's that, which is pretty cool, and you also get to keep the uh, passive from your, or not your passive, or your augment on here, which is where most of your damage is going to be coming from. I have Rage on here because let's say you're in a raid environment, you're about to go down, you get all that energy back and you just blind them and, you know, you're basically still alive. And Vitality on here just to, you know, keep you alive, basically. This augment slot, you can either change it for Energy Siphon or Cruise Projection, doesn't really matter too much, um, but I like to go for Cruise Projection to obviously take away that energy armor, or that energy armor, that enemy's armor, and kill them a lot quicker. So, let's demonstrate how good or bad this build actually is, along with showing you guys this uh, little dagger build right here, which is very simplistic, you just roll on your Prime Pressure Point if you have the space for it, I haven't actually got this one formed. Uh, your Fury, Prime Fury, if you have the space for it. Your elements on here, depending on the enemy you're going against. Life Strike, if you want to get that health back. Covert Lethality, and obviously you can, you know, obviously double stack an element or something, which is pretty cool. Now, showing you guys the build, this is what it's kind of like. So, we spawn in this level 145 Bombard. We stun him, roll it away of the missile, and before we dead. Okay, and now he's dead. I thought that rock was going to kill us, that's why I said, and before we dead. Um, so yeah, he's dead. One shot in a level 145, and just to prove to you guys that he was level 145... Let's just uh, go over here. Uh, okay, level 140. Let's do a level 145. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it. I swear I thought he's level 145. Obviously, I was wrong. Let's do it again. That five levels will make a massive difference, obviously, because I haven't got enough energy right now. Okay, here we go. And before I'm dead again, there we go. And now we one shot him. There you go. So. That's how good this build is. It's a pretty awesome build. Um, you know, you can use it if you want. You can actually stun a lot of enemies. Keep in mind that it actually works by line of sight as well. So if they're hiding behind an object or something, uh, Radio Blind won't actually affect the enemy, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's nerfing a really strong ability. Uh, otherwise, this thing could be spammed and you could just basically stun every single enemy around you. And it would be pretty unfair. So you can just kind of combo this together and deal a shit ton of damage obviously there's better ways to build this uh if you want to actually like spec into this type of build you can go ahead and do that there but if you want to have all the other builds like uh your javelin build your exalted blade build you know it's worth not investing too much in this build like it's an awesome build don't get me wrong but like should it be your main priority on excalibur i don't know i look at excalibur as a sort of more fun frame rather than your uh you know go to rest in pieces flynn your go-to sort of Karia, Karia game frame, you know? So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below. And you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.